Welcome to Power System Analysis using ETAP course. So in this lecture, we are going to demonstrate how ETAP is and what are the basic functions and the overview of the ETAP. So if you will open ETAP by double clicking on it, so you are going to open up with this window. So this is your working space where different kind of files are going to be open for you. This is your toolbars where it will show the system manager, the one line diagrams, the different kind of features you have in PSSC. These are going to be shown here. The message window is going to show the different kind of messages that will be appearing with PSSC. And these are the toolbars which will be containing different data. So if you want to open, open a case, so opening a case is very simple. You can simply go to file and open project if you have already some existing project open in your system you can open from here or simply you can go to this on the toolbar open and when you open it is going to ask you where your file is available so you can select different um, uh, options from here or you can browse to the location where the file is so i have created one test case just for the sake of uh, telling you what is happening uh, when you open a case so i'll just double click on my case basically the file uh, to know is that uh, etap file is saved in the form of static.oti so oti is the extension of the file so you can just double click by opening it and see it is going to ask for authentication yes i want etap authentication and my username is there and i already have the license from here and when i press ok so here the access level so i want to access my pro uh, project as a project editor so that i have the full control over the case and i press ok it will take some time it is loading the database of the project and there you go so now you have different time uh, things open so if you see this pencil this is this is uh by this we mean that we are in an edit mode so i can change different options here and it's just a simple case if you see here on the top so just uh, we can go here by scrolling you can go up and down so scrolling i have this for grid i have modeled two grids here the one is the maximum short circuit level and one is for the minimum short circuit level and for one study we are going to use maximum and depends and we will be discussing this more in the future and similarly it has two transformers here and a certain load is connected to the feeder and one is connected to the feeder and one is directly connected as a impedance so in the form of rx and b i have provided the value here here it has been modeled as a cable so some load is there and you see and there you have these different options this is all the your project manager which has different kind of files which you have um, here it will be coming here similarly if you this is our edit mode where you have different kind of equipments available whatever equipment you want to select in your case it will be available here and now if i want to perform some analysis what i have to do is i have to switch from my edit mode to my study mode so what kind of study I am doing, it will depend, uh, the selection will be based on this. For instance, if I want to perform a load flow analysis, for the load flow analysis, I can select this peak, balanced load flow analysis. When I click on this, now if you see, my this toolbar has changed. Now my toolbar is showing me in the form of this. So I can perform the load flow analysis from here. Similarly, auto run, if I want to do it automatically, I can do it from here. Similarly, if there are some alerts in my case and this will be shown here from the alerts i mean that if my voltages are within some limit or not it is going to come here and the messages had been updated see here the case has been opened successful backup has been completed so things like that it will come here so this is how you open the case and you can perform if you want to check the data of something or if you want to manipulate the data what you simply have to do is you have to double click on the equipment and the window for that particular will open if you see here the id is transformer t1 if i go to the rating the rating the voltage rating is this is 132 by 13.8 kv transformer which has a capacity of uh, it's a huge capacity here 67 mva uh, capacity is there so I am giving it in the form of MBA. So you can select from here and then what is the derated capacity, different things you have here, then the impedance values. Uh, 
if you do not know the impedance value you can simply use this typical values so typical values will provide you with okay whatever the impedance value is going to be there for a certain type of transformer and if you want to consider some tolerance so you can select the tolerance level from here what will happen in the case of tolerance level that it will consider this tolerance while performing the analysis and this is important why because if you do not know the data then you want to go with the worst case scenario so the worst case scenario is for the load flow analysis worst case scenario is more impedance because higher the impedance is the more will be the voltage drop and for the short circuit level it will be reverse so the lower the impedance is the more will be the short circuit current so this way you select this tolerance and uh, this e tap take cares of this and similarly the other taps are there if you want to change the tap positions the tap positions can be changed from here regarding grounding what kind of grounding is there you can mention the grounding here the sizing of the transformer and everything is available here so uh, when you move uh, forward with your case you can select these values accordingly and if you press ok that's it if i see my grid so my grid is here everything related to the grid is here and this is how you perform so this is the basics of etap so this is how your etaps look like